I'm Chiquita Banana, and I've come to say Bananas have to ripen in a certain way And when they're flecked with brown and have a golden hue Bananas taste the best and are the best for you You know me, I love talking about bananas. There are three brands I can get in the stores here in Canada. Dole, naturally my favorite. I mean, John Drummond Dole basically it brought pineapples to the Western world. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Dole, Del Monte, another great banana brand. And then there's the third brand that will never touch these lips. I'm talking about Chiquita Banana. Why am I so hostile to Chiquita Bananas? Well, it goes back a couple years when Chiquita Bananas announced in a flourish, in a press release, that they would be boycotting Canadian ethical oil for moral reasons. Let me say that again. Chiquita Banana announced that they would no longer fuel their banana trucks with oil from Canada. I guess that means they prefer oil from OPEC regimes like Saudi Arabia and Iran. It's questionable morality, to say the least. It's also a lie. You cannot choose the oil that goes into your truck. It's not labeled. We don't know where the gas in our cars comes from unless you're from a region of the country that only has ethical oil like Western Canada. So the whole thing was a shabby PR stunt. But if you remember back when I was on the Sun News Network, I went deep on who Chiquita Banana really is. See, they're not like Dole or Del Monte, just food companies. Chiquita Banana has a long and sordid history in Central America. They used to be called the United Fruit Company, and they are where we got the phrase Banana Republic from. See, over the decades, the United Fruit Company, Chiquita, had such an abusive relationship, not just with the governments of Central America, but with their people, that they were corrupt, they bribed officials, they were violent even towards their own staff. That is where the phrase Banana Republic came from. When Chiquita Banana came into a country, when United Fruit came into a country, it corrupted and destroyed civil society, the rule of law, to turn a country into a banana republic became an insult that we use to this day. That's Chiquita Banana. Now you might say those days are gone and in the past. I would say it's a bit rich for the United Fruit Company to tell us that our Canadian oil is not ethical. But here's news, and this is news out of Florida just this week. You see, it's tough for a leopard to change its spots. And even though the United Fruit Company changed its name to Chiquita, partly to jettison all their old baggage, well, old habits die hard. And Chiquita Banana in Latin America, in South America, actually, I know you're gonna find this hard to believe, it's shocking, actually gave money to paramilitary terrorist groups down there. I know, you probably say it's made up. No, Chiquita Banana actually paid a fine in the United States when they were accused by the Department of Justice of aiding and abetting terrorists. Well, that got them off the hook with the U.S. Department of Justice, but families of the victims of these terrorist groups have filed a multi-jurisdictional lawsuit against Chiquita Banana. Well, Chiquita Banana has done everything they could to try and tamp down this lawsuit and try and stop the information about how they did deals with the terrorists from coming to light. Well, here's the bad news for Chiquita. This week in Florida, a U.S. judge ordered that some of the terrorists who are in prison in South America be deposed by the victim's family's lawyers. That is, these families who had family members killed or injured by the Chiquita-sponsored terrorists will have the right to grill these terrorists before they're released from prison. What a tangled web we weave. That's why, my friends, if you're shopping for bananas, skip the terrorist brand. Don't buy Chiquita bananas. It's just not ethical. For the Rebel Dot Media, I'm Ezra Levant.